In this tutorial, you'll become familiar with the types of questions on the AccuPlacer Sentence Skills Test that ask you to replace an underlined word or passage with one of the choices given. Okay, so let's first take a look at how these types of questions are structured. First, you'll see the sentence with the underlined passage or word. Next, you'll see the directions on how to answer the question. Finally, you'll see four options to choose from. Notice the first option is the sentence as it is originally written. You'll be asked to choose from the four options and then to confirm your choice before submitting it. Remember that you can use the scrap paper that you're given to jot out your answers. Sometimes it helps to actually read the whole sentence to make sure that it's grammatically correct and that it makes sense. Okay, so let's work through this first example. After I read the question, you can hit the pause button if you like, and then answer the question on your own. Then go ahead and play to hear my explanation of which is the right answer and why the other answers aren't correct. Stamp collecting being a hobby that is sometimes used in schools to teach economics and social studies. Being a hobby that is, is the underlined passage. And there are four choices. A, the same as the sentence is written, being a hobby that is. B, is a hobby because it is. C, which is a hobby. And D, is a hobby. The correct answer to this question is D. Stamp collecting is a hobby sometimes used in the schools to teach economics and social studies. The first choice, A, being a hobby that is, isn't correct because it's awkward wording. Almost never do we use being in sentence construction for academics, unless we're referring to a noun, like a human being. In all cases, when there's an ing verb, for that wor verb to be the working verb in the sentence, you need a helping verb, and there isn't one in this case, so A is not the correct answer. B, stamp collecting is a hobby because it is sometimes used in the schools to teach economics and social studies. This isn't correct because it's changed the meaning of the sentence. Because it's used in schools is not the reason that stamp collecting is a hobby. So this is an incorrect choice also. C, stamp collecting, which is a hobby sometimes used in the schools to teach economics and social studies, is, creates a fragment because the verb is, is part of a dependent clause and stamp collecting doesn't have its own verb. So also this cannot work as a correct sentence. Let's try another example. After their games, members of the team celebrating their victories with hot dogs and soda pop. And the four choices are A, celebrating, B, celebrates, C, has celebrated, and D, celebrate. The correct response is D, celebrate. After their games, members of the team celebrate their victories with hot dogs and soda pop. Let's look at A and see why it's incorrect. After their games, members of the team celebrating their victories with hot dogs and soda pop. Celebrating is an ing verb and it's missing a helping verb, so this isn't a correct option. B. After their games, members of the team celebrates their victories with hot dogs and soda pop. In this case, celebrates is a verb that agrees with team, but team isn't the subject of the sentence because it's the object of a preposition. Members is the subject, so therefore the word needs to, the verb needs to agree with members. C says after their games, members of the team has celebrated their victories with hot dogs and soda pop. Once again, has agrees with team, and the actual subject is members. So members 
to agree would have to be have instead of has. So this also is an incorrect option. And D is the best answer. Let's take a look at question three. The customers in line seeming disappointed after the special bargain computers sold out. And you have four choices, seeming disappointed, were disappointed, seem disappointing, and D, disappointed. The correct response in this instance is B. The customers in line were disappointed after the special bargain computers sold out. A is not correct because seeming disappointed, in this case seeming, has an ing on it. So it's not an active verb. And this sentence is still a fragment because it doesn't have an actual working verb. C, the customers in line seem disappointed after the special bargain computers sold out. In this case, seem is wrong because this is an event that happened in the past and seem is in the present tense. So the verb isn't in the correct tense. D, the customers in line disappointed after the special bargain computers sold out. This is confusing because the customers aren't the ones doing the disappointing. So in this case, disappointed needs a helping verb and it doesn't have one. Let's give number four a try. The last factory in the city declaring bankruptcy and laying off 230 employees. You have four choices, declaring bankruptcy and laying off, B, declared bankruptcy and laid off, C, has declared bankruptcy and laying off, and D, declared bankruptcy and was laying off. The correct answer is B. The last factory in the city declared bankruptcy and laid off 230 employees. A is incorrect because neither of the two verbs in the compound verb have a helping verb. So once again, it's one of these ing verb forms that doesn't have a helper. So A is incorrect. C is incorrect because the two parts of the compound verb are in different tenses. The last factory in the city has declared bankruptcy is one tense and laying off is another. Both verbs in a compound verb must match in tense. So this also is an incorrect answer. And D, the last factory in the city declared bankruptcy and was laying off 230 employees is wrong for the same reason. Declared bankruptcy is one verb tense and was laying off is another. The two must match. Let's try number five. After the painting finished, the artist decided to paint over it. You have four choices. The painting finished, finishing the painting, finished painting, and finishing painting. In this case, the correct response is B. After finishing the painting, the artist decided to paint over it. A. After the painting finished, the, the artist decided to paint over it is incorrect because this wording suggests that the painting is doing the painting. It says that the painting finished and that isn't correct. C, after finished painting, the artist decided to paint over it. Here, we don't have a subject for finished. We don't say who or what was doing the actual finishing, and that is not correct. In the case of D, after finishing painting, the artist decided to paint over it. Here we have it at the end of the sentence, but there's nothing for it to refer to. So D is not the correct response either. You can continue preparing for the AccuPlacer sentence skills test 
by viewing the tutorial part two.